Good morning. Um, it's so good to see you guys again today. Uh, we're talking about visual schedules this morning. Um, and so with your schedule, whenever you create your schedule, it's great to have a visual for your child. We all love to mark things off in our calendar, to mark things off on our to-do list. Some kids uh, or some adults will even write something on their to-do list just so that they can mark it off. Kids are no different. They like to see visually their accomplishments and we like to see visually that we're getting things done. And so um, no matter what age your child is, visuals can be very helpful. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of examples of some visuals that I've created in my office um, with some of my kids that you may find helpful at home. Uh, remember when you're looking at schedules, you wanna uh, use that pre-mat principle, make sure you're putting uh, less preferred items right before more preferred items. You can pr put several uh, simple non-preferred items in a row, uh, but then you wanna make sure that you have your reward at the end of that. Uh, so I'm going to share with these with you these examples. Depending on the age of your child and the specific concerns that you have, you may find some of them more applicable than others. So here's a simple morning routine um, for a child. Uh, it's reversed on yours, but you can see uh, there's different things like wake up, bathroom, brush your teeth, uh, eat your breakfast, get dressed, brush your hair, uh, read uh, for 10 minutes, and then um, play an educational game on the iPad, okay? So you can see that that reading is right before playing that game. So that's where your visuals are um, in place or where your pre-mat principle is in place, okay? Now, uh, this child had a particularly difficult time with whining and crying and throwing a fit before doing activities. And so for this child, if they wake up without a fit, uh, then they'll circle a little happy boy. Uh, if they go to the bathroom on their own without being told to go to the bathroom and clean up, then they'll get to circle their happy. Uh, but if they throw a fit during brushing their teeth, then they'll have to circle a crying child okay um, so very simple little morning routine this is easy to create and Microsoft Word all you do is you write out the things that you need them to do kind of make your font a little bigger put a color to it um, your pictures or images you can get online from images.google um, so if you just go to images and Google and you type in whatever it is that you want um, a picture of so you just type in bed and you probably want to put the word clip art right behind it. Uh, so if you type bed dot uh, clip art, then they're going to bring up a lot of uh, clip art type things or uh, images that are cutesy uh, that you can put in your schedule. Whereas if you type in toilet without the word clip art, you're probably going to get a picture of a Lowe's toilet. And that's probably not what you really want. Okay. Um, so then you just copy and paste those and then just shrink them down to the right size. Um, and that's a great visual for you. So this is great for kids that can't necessarily read very well yet. But your kids that are older that can read, you just want to use some tables. Uh, so again, Microsoft Word, very simple. Um, this is a table uh, in Microsoft Word, and it has the tasks. Now, this is made for more than one child, so most of you probably have multiple children in your home. Uh, you don't just have one, and you don't want to print out a bunch of these, um, and everybody have their own. So you just want the family routine. So if you're looking at the family routine, um, what you're looking at, and you can see my daughter is here helping me. Uh, we talked about that yesterday, that she may be my little helper sometimes. Um, and so if you're looking at your family routine, what you're going to do is you're going to see what everybody in the family needs to do. So everybody in the family needs to get up and put pajamas on under their pillow. They need to brush their teeth. They need to eat their breakfast and take their vitamins or their medicine. Um, and so then you can check off for each child if they're getting those things done. Uh, you might have some morning chores that you want them to do. You might want them to make their bed. Um, you may want them to do their schoolwork and uh, read for 30 minutes. So this is for an older child. So again, each child and as they get those things done. Um, this one again, very simple, just like that. Uh, so we need homework done. We need to do our worksheet, practice our sight words, um, all of the things that they need to do. And so these are just simple checklists uh, that your child can do. This one is a week long one. Um, and so on this one, same thing where they've got the things they need to do, but then they've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they can see all of the things that they do along the week. We'll talk about reinforcement here in just a few minutes. And in reinforcement, that's where we'll talk about um, how to build reinforcement into your schedule and into um, completing all of the tasks or the majority of the tasks on the schedule. And so if your child uh, completes the majority of the tasks on their schedule, it's likely that they're gonna want to earn something. So uh, for this person, if they uh, complete all of their tasks, so if I do a task with one or less reminders, I will earn one point. 
If I earn 10 or more points, I can choose one special privilege. And so there's the special privileges that they might get to choose. All of these resources are available um, in the links. And so uh, if you want these uh, Word documents, um, you can click on the links and you'll be able to access uh, the actual Word documents that go with this. So maybe you don't have to recreate the wheel and you can uh, just use those. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.